Welcome to the A Portfolio Quick Start video. This video will cover the basic functionality needed to create your A Portfolio site. To begin, go to aportfolio.appstate.edu and click Login to A Portfolio. Log in with your AppState username and password. To create a new A Portfolio, Click on the blue and white plus sign located in the upper right. Please note, if your instructor or program of study uses an A Portfolio template, look in the Pick a Template from Library section for the name of your course. If you see the name of your course, select that template. For the following example, we are assuming you will be creating an A Portfolio from scratch, so we will select the blank template. The blank template is set by default. Provide your A portfolio with a title. A good rule of thumb is your name, followed by the short name of the course that the A portfolio will be created for. You can also add a thumbnail to your portfolio. The thumbnail will show up in the class list of A portfolios. Click the blue Create button in the bottom right corner of the window. It will take a moment for your A portfolio to be created. Once your A portfolio has been created, you will see the following screen. Let's go over a few common buttons you will interact with as you are creating your A portfolio. The blue and white plus sign is known as the Add Content button. You will click on the Add Content button when you want to upload or place content on your site. Your options for content include rich text, for adding blocks of text, upload file for uploading photos, PDFs, and other documents, as well as several others. The gear icon is known as the settings button. The settings button allows you to change the styles associated with various content. For example, you can change the colors, add background images, or change font types and sizes. The pencil and paper icon is known as the edit button. You will click the Edit button whenever you want to make changes to content within a rich text module, add captions to images, or replace images. The trash can icon is known as the Delete button. When you want to remove content, you will use this button. Note that you must type the word delete in all lowercase to perform a deletion. The icon with the four arrows is known as the Move button. You will click and hold the Move button to reposition content on your A Portfolio page. The icon with three lines is called the Hamburger icon. Clicking the Hamburger icon opens a drop-down menu that enables you to publish pages, add permissions, and submit your A Portfolio to your course. This is the Dashboard, or D icon. It allows you to navigate your A Portfolio dashboard and locate A Portfolio courses, locate your A portfolio, and view A portfolios with the system, as well as log out. Let's head back over to the A portfolio we created with the blank template. The blank template is set up with four menu items and some placeholder text on the first page. Let's edit the menu items and rename them to something more appropriate. To do this, hover in the menu and then click on the lock to unlock the edit options for the navigation menu. Once the menu is unlocked, mouse over the menu area. Three icons will pop up to the right. Click the Edit button now. The Page Settings menu is where you will be able to add or delete pages, reorder your pages by clicking the hamburger icon and dragging, create subpages by clicking and dragging a page slightly to the right. Typically, your landing page is entitled About Me, but you should always check with your instructor to see how they want your pages named. Changing the name of a page is as simple as clicking on the page name and typing what you want the new name to be. You will more than likely need more than four pages in your A portfolio. To add new pages, click the blue Add New Page button in the bottom left, or just hit the Return key on your computer keyboard. Provide the page with an appropriate title. 
You can also make submenus by clicking and dragging the four bars to the right indenting below the main menu item. To undo this action, you will click the four bars and drag it back to the left. Let's leave menu 2 as a submenu for now. If you wish to make a menu a non-clickable header, click the settings button and select header. If a page is set as a header, then there will be no content to view as the menu item will not be clickable. You can also delete pages you don't want by clicking the delete button next to the page you wish to delete. Please note, if a page is deleted, there is no undo option. Once you are finished editing your menu, click on the blue save button in the bottom right hand corner of the window. You will be prompted to type delete in all lowercase to ensure this is the action you wish to do. Now that your menu is set up, let's add some content to your site. To start, let's delete the Latin text placeholder since we will be adding a new one later on. Hover within the rich text box and click on the delete button. Type delete in all lowercase and click yes delete it. The deletion process is the same for all content. Remember, there is no undo button for deleted content on pages. Now your page is blank. Let's add content by clicking the Add Content button in the bottom right of the page. To upload a file, click Upload File. From here, you will locate the file on your computer. The upload process is the same for an image or PDF. Let's start by uploading a picture. You have the ability to crop, rotate, or make your picture a circle if you are uploading an image. To do this, click Edit. Click on Crop. Drag any of the four handles in each of the corners to crop your photo. Click Save once you are finished. To make a circle out of your image, click Circle. You can increase or decrease the size of the circle by clicking a handle and dragging it inward or outward. You can select a different portion of your photo by clicking in the circle and dragging and dropping it to the desired place. Click Save once you are finished. To rotate, click Rotate. Clicking on either of the circles with arrows in them will rotate your image. Click Save once you are finished. If you are unhappy with your edits, click Reset. If you are happy, click Done. It is important to note that you must make any edits to your photos before you click Upload. If you decide you want to make changes to your photo after it has been uploaded, you will have to re-upload the photo. Click Upload. Now your image appears on your page. You can resize the image by clicking the handles in each of the four corners. To move your image, hover over it and click the Move button. With the Move button clicked, click on your image and drag it and drop it to your desired position. Grid lines will appear to help you position it. For now, we will position it in the upper left-hand corner. If you want to upload several images, consider using a gallery module. If you upload several images at once, a gallery module is automatically created for you. You can also create a gallery module from a single uploaded image. Click the Edit button. Next, click Add More Items. Now, follow the same steps as before to upload more images. In a gallery module, you can add captions to your photos. Captions are a great way to provide context to your images or provide citation. To add captions, click the Edit button. Click Edit Caption and begin typing. To add captions to other images in the gallery, click the left or right arrow, then click in the box that says Caption and begin typing. We will now cover two basic settings for the gallery module, Layout and Autoplay. Click on the Settings icon. There are several layouts you can choose from, each providing thumbnails of the images in your gallery. 
Each layout positions the thumbnails in different locations around the gallery. If you don't want thumbnails, the first option removes them. Autoplay automatically transitions through the images so the person viewing your portfolio doesn't have to click through them. You can increase or decrease the play speed by using this option. This only covers the most basic gallery functions that most will need to complete their A portfolio. For more advanced functions, please look at our other tutorials. Now let's add a file to your site. Following the same steps from before, click the Add button, click Upload File, and click Select File to Upload. We highly recommend all documents be in PDF format. PDF preserves all formatting for the web. After the file has been uploaded, you have the same resizing and moving capabilities as before. We will put the file underneath the image. Now that we have some content added, let's add a rich text box to the page. Click the Add button. Click Rich Text. Let's resize the text box and move it next to our image and file. That looks pretty good. To add text to the box, click on the Edit icon. You will see a suite of text editing tools appear at the top. This looks very similar to other text editors you have used. Any changes you make in this menu will override what you do in the Settings menu of this text box. For now, make your text a heading and type your name. Click the Settings button next to the text box. This provides you with many options such as justifying the text, changing the font type, size, and much more. Let's change the background color of the text by clicking the box beside color in the background section. For now, let's make it yellow for App State. To close this menu, click on any blank area of the page. You can also change the background color of the section that sits beneath the text box. Click on the section area and click the Settings button. This opens up style options for your section. Your top layer is what sits beneath your content, so in our case, the image, file, and text box we just added. Click the box beside Color under the Top Layer Background section. Let's make it black. Scroll down until you see Bottom Layer Background. The bottom layer is what sits beneath your content. Right now, that area is blue. Let's make that background an image. Click the box that says Select Image and upload an image. Be wary of busy backgrounds. It can make your text and content hard to read. If this happens, try changing the opacity of your top layer so your content can be viewed a bit easier. We will cover more advanced design features in a separate tutorial, but for now, you know the basics. There are three very important steps that could impact your grade. Setting permissions, publishing pages, and submitting your A portfolio. First, let's give your instructor permission to view your A portfolio. Click the hamburger icon now. Then click Settings. If this is your first time clicking Settings, you will see the following screen. Click Continue to accept the default settings. The Settings page allows you to change the title, URL, and most importantly, add permissions for your instructor to view your A portfolio. Click on the Edit link beside Also Share with Specific People, Groups, or Courses. This will open a search bar. Click in the search bar. Begin typing in your course's short name, and you will see your course appear in the dropdown. If your course does not appear, try adding spaces. For example, if you are enrolled in an RC1000 course, type R space C. Another example is if you are in a chemistry course, type CHE. If your course still does not appear, ask your instructor what the short name for the course would be. Click on the course in the dropdown. You will now see that your course's faculty members and your course's students were added as viewers. Please note that your A portfolio permissions do not allow it to be searched or publicly viewed on the internet.
When you have a professional aid portfolio developed for a potential employer, internship, or sponsor, you must email aportfolio at appstate.edu and request that it be made public. Once you are done setting your course's permissions, click Save Settings. Another aspect of a portfolio that can impact your grades is publishing. Your pages are automatically saved as you make changes, however, they are not viewable to anyone until you publish them. There are several ways to publish pages. You may have noticed the yellow bar at the top of the page. This is the first way you can publish the page. Click Publish Now. You can perform the same action by clicking the hamburger icon and clicking Publish This Page. To see what pages have been published, toggle to the Publish view using the button to the left of the hamburger icon. Do this now. You will see that the first page has now been published and all the others haven't. Toggle back to the Edit view. If you wish to publish multiple pages, click the hamburger icon and click Publish Pages. Items with a green Publish bar are pages that have been published. Those with a red draft bar have not. You can click beside each page to publish them or simply click All Pages. Let's click All Pages for now. Click Publish. A green bar will appear stating that your pages have been published. We strongly recommend that you get in the habit of publishing all pages at the end of each A portfolio session. This way, you can ensure your instructor is seeing all of your work. Occasionally, instructors will ask you to submit your A portfolio for grading. Not all instructors require it, though. If your instructor does ask you to submit, click on the hamburger icon and click Submit to Course. Next, make sure you have the correct assignment selected. Now you will need to check that all pages are selected and show a green check mark next to them. If you have unpublished pages, you will click Publish and Submit. If your pages are already published, as ours are, you will only need to click Submit. To log off, click the D icon and click Log Out. This video only covers the basics of a portfolio. The a portfolio team has developed individual tutorials that go more in depth into each of these topics. There are also tutorials that cover more advanced concepts. You can view our tutorials at aportfolio.appstate.edu backslash tutorials. If you have any immediate questions, please don't hesitate to email us at aportfolio.appstate.edu. We respond rather quickly, even on evenings and weekends. Lastly, if you need one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to use the online form to set an appointment time. This concludes the A Portfolio Quick Start video. Thanks for watching.